Um, I came to work here part-time, um, you know, a little bit of extra um, working in the punk room as well. Unfortunately, I had to leave the punk room because I had to get a lighter job. And um, the owner here very kindly gave me a full-time job here. Um, you'd been a bit of a dresser-upper before, hadn't you? Did you have to dress up when you were sort of pump master? That's right. I um, actually wore a little white wig and um, the breeches, uh, stockings, cravat and a waistcoat and a very, very voluminous shirt in the pump rooms. Uh, we've got to make it very clear to those actually watching and listening to you now that um, these things don't come from a dress hire company. You make your own costumes, don't you? I certainly do indeed. I make everything that I wear um, here at Jane Austen Centre. Everything I, I wear, I actually make. So you're dressed as Mr. Bennett. That's correct, yes. And they do let you wear a great coat in the, the depths of winter, don't they? They, they do. Well, it's very cold. Uh, I have a very nice Garrick great coat to wear. Very smart it is too. And the whiskers are genuine. They certainly are. I got so fed up of people pulling them and pulling off the false ones <laughs> that uh, I thought, Let, let's grow them uh, proper ones. It, it must hurt if they have a tug at those. They do, Richard, and it does. <laughs> A lot of people stop and want their photograph taken with you. Uh, so much so that I, I think you hold the title of the most photographed person in England, don't well, you? I think that's probably correct, yes. Um, obviously, word has got around and nobody's disputed it yet, so I think you're probably right there, yes. Well, I, I, I would imagine you're almost at the top. I would think the Duchess of Cambridge is probably just a few notches above you for being the most photographed person in England, but... Um, uh, you're there to, to meet and greet. Um, over the years, have you no noticed the people coming into the Jane Austen Centre uh, changing in terms of, of country of origin? Are, are we getting sort of more people from further away now? We certainly are, Richard. We're getting a lot of people from the uh, east, from uh, China, Korea, most countries from that area of the world, and also a lot more Eastern Europeans. This has been something of a challenge to you, hasn't it? I mean, uh, you must be frustrated in not being able to uh, communicate, say, with Chinese tourists. That's right, Richard. So what I've actually done, I've started learning a little bit of Mandarin Chinese. Obviously, just to make them, those people feel welcome and uh, break the ice and hopefully make them feel at ease a little. So what sort of greetings are they getting from you? Uh, if it's in the morning, I'll say, So shall how. Now, it's important that you say it absolutely correct, because if you don't, sometimes it can be offensive. So, <laughs> you know, all in pronunciation. What sort of reaction do you get from them? Um, the older people, they go, oh, <laughs> you know, and they smile lovely, which is what we want, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, um, it's great to see you rising to the challenge. And on behalf of all the readers and viewers of the Virtual Museum, Martin, a, a very Merry Christmas to you. A very Merry Christmas to all you virtual viewers out there, and I'm glad I said that correctly. And I would just like to say one more thing. Booyang Xia, that you're very welcome in Mandarin Chinese. Xi Xie. What's that? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>